Impacts from compulsive gambling can be devastating to those closest to the gambler. In fact, oftentimes family members suffer more than the gambler themselves. Neglect and abuse can impact the family not only financially, but physically and emotionally as well. Effects can range from loss of basic necessities such as food and shelter, which can result in reliance on social services, to loss of hope, trust, and family security, which can result in legal and health issues for family members. Children growing up in households with the presence of a gambling addiction can feel the effects of this disease well into adulthood if help is not provided. Did you know that 74% of callers to the Florida Council on Compulsive Gambling's 24-hour helpline report family conflict due to a gambling problem? 65% report family neglect. 4% report family violence in the household and one-third of the households have children under the age of 18. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm originally from Michigan, but I moved here to Florida about four years ago after grad school to take a job at a busy public relations firm. My job takes me on the road quite a bit, but sometimes it feels like a ball and chain when I'm at my desk for hours on end. But I do have a company credit card and two assistants. Lucky me. It's definitely stressful. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes there's so much going on in my head that there's only a few things in this whole world that will help me relax. It's a good thing I have a pretty cool boss, Pat. When I first moved here four years ago, I was going through some very tough times. I didn't have any friends, but Pat was there for me. Actually, Pat's probably the only reason I'm still at that job. I've been living alone for the past four years. I was married at one time, but now I'm divorced, and I've been living alone ever since. I don't have any children, but that doesn't mean I don't want some someday. I have been dating someone for the past year, and he's become very important to me. I don't want to slave away at the office or live alone in my studio apartment my whole life. There are just a few personal things that I need to iron out before I can have any kind of future with Randy. But gosh, I really don't want to screw this up. In a few words, in a few words, my finances are a wreck and emotionally, well, I'm completely drained. Hello, my name is Randy. I'm a physical therapist and I have my own practice here in town. I met Sarah through a mutual friend a couple of years ago and since then we've really hit it off. And she's just fun. I feel pretty good when I'm around her. We can just be ourselves. She trusts me and I trust her. I like the fact that she's aggressive when it comes to her career. She's very motivated and seems focused on getting all the good things out of life. I think she's a beautiful person, both inside and out. Would I consider marrying Sarah someday? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wouldn't rule that out. We are very close and I have a key to her place kind of thing. You know, I had the picture perfect marriage. My ex-husband was a great guy. Very handsome, very patient. Actually, Randy reminds me of him a little bit. You know, the thing that put the strain on our marriage were my spending habits. We weren't rich by any means, but my husband did have a good job and he made decent money. We had this dream of opening our own business and moving to the beach and raising our family in our own house. It was a nice thought. You know, it's amazing how many problems can grow out of money problems. Especially when, when you're the one who ruins the dream. My ex-husband was convinced that I had a shopping problem. But my problem was and is the slot machines, not shopping. <laughs> I can't even explain the feeling. It's like, it's like an escape from all the stress and all the problems that I have. My lies and manipulation went on for a couple of years until my husband decided that he couldn't trust me anymore. 
And still to this day, even though he's the one that left, I blame myself. My name is Pat. I'm Sarah's boss. I have been running the East Florida office branch now for almost 10 years. We are a public relations company specializing in medical and legal professionals. I love my job. I have known Sarah for five years. She was a mess when she moved up here since her divorce, but she seems to be doing all right now. It didn't take her too long to meet new people, get cozy with the job. She's a very likable woman. I know that things get crazy in the office from time to time, but I think everybody does fairly well with that. Sometimes Sarah might just need to walk around the building, chomp on a candy bar. It's true that she takes longer lunches than most and comes in late and goes home early from time to time, but she always makes her deadlines and she always answers all of her messages. Sarah will always have a job here. No one else can cover as much ground as she does and quite frankly, no one's as smart as she is. I have um, what I like to call an internal thermostat. So when things start heating up, there's only one thing I can do to cool myself back down, and that's head to the slot machines. You know, it's, it's, um, it's that escape feeling I was talking about. Sometimes at lunch, I'll sneak to the casinos. You would not believe how stressful and chaotic it gets in this office, even before lunch. After a nice win or two, I'm rejuvenated and I'm ready to rock and roll and I make it to the rest of my day, and then I'm off to see Randy. You know, every time I look at Randy, I, I see my ex-husband, and I'm reminded of what I've lost. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not still in love with my ex-husband, but I definitely don't want to lose what I have with Randy. I mean, he could really be the one, you know? The one I'm supposed to grow old with. If he only knew the kind of debt that I'm juggling or how many times I've lied or manipulated him, he definitely would leave me. Well, and if he didn't leave me, he certainly wouldn't want to marry me. I just know that I need to get my financial life in order so I can stop worrying about all these financial problems and all this debt and it affecting every single part of my life. If I was to total up all the bills in this pile, I would guess that it would be about $50,000. And um, this pile is credit card charges, cash advances, and this pile is probably about thirty to 40000 um, in open lines of casino credit. Um, this pile is uh, loans that I've taken out hmm, a while back. Um, they have a really high interest rate, so I would, God, I would hate to even guess, but I'm thinking around $15,000. This pile, well, um, it's not, it's nothing really. These are just um, additional bills, uh, charges to the company that I work for, things that, that I kind of owe the company. It's, it's not, it's nothing. Oh, and of course I still have rent and utilities and insurance, just like everybody else. Back to me in about 20 minutes? Cool. Okay. Thanks. Hi, Randy. Yeah. No, I, no, I was working like. No, a major. Um, this huge thing came up with this client, Tallahassee. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm really sorry. I can't. No. I, I, I've got to finish this stuff before the client. Yeah. Okay. I, I'll make it up to you, I promise. Okay. Okay, I'll see you tonight as soon as I can. Okay, bye-bye.
She leaves work a lot, but she always seems to get back to everyone on time. I can see that she's stressed. I kind of feel bad for her sometimes. I like working with Sarah for the most part. She kind of freaks out sometimes, but that's expected. Um, she works hard when she's at her desk. If I crammed as much work as she does when she's actually here at work, I'd be stressed out too. Today is just one of those days. Don't you hate it when every day feels like a Monday? God, my head's killing me. Like I was telling you earlier, Sarah is an asset to this company. When it comes to PR, she knows everything there is to know about it. Sarah has always had odd work habits, but I think she's just stressed out. She needs to find a good way to relieve stress outside of the workplace. I feel like I know her fairly well, and I can tell that there's something bothering her. Maybe I'll just bring it up when the time is proper. Maybe it's because it's the end of the month. Everyone's stressed out, bills are coming due, they're balancing their checkbooks, crunching their numbers, and that's enough to drive anybody goofy. In fact, I have to crunch our own company's expense reports this week. That's enough to drive me insane. If you promise not to show my boss, I will show you how I sometimes float between paychecks. Now it's, it's nothing major, it's just, most of it just gets paid by corporate anyway. You know, these cash advances are nice because there's really no paper trail and you can spend the money for whatever you need it for. Like sometimes I use it for a tank of gas so I can go to the casino or if I'm too tired to drive it at night um, after I'm finished gambling, then I use it on a room to stay at the casino. Um, I know it sounds bad, but I'm pretty confident that I won't get caught because I'm the person who generates these expense reports and only one other person sees them before they go to corporate, and that's my boss. Today I'll submit the expense reports to Pat. It all looks good, and as long as I didn't overlook anything, it should be okay. Wish me luck. This makes me extremely nervous. I couldn't sleep at all last night. What if I get caught? What if I lose my job? What if I go to jail? If I lose Randy? But I really don't want to do this, but I've got to pay my bills. for a few minutes, please. Uh, okay, uh, uh, I'll be there in a second. Pat just called me into his office. I hope I didn't screw up anything on his expense reports. Oh my gosh, that so scared me, but <laughs> I really knew I had nothing to worry about.
At first, I didn't think these statements were actually real. I thought they were just junk mail from a casino or something. But as I look closer at these actual bills, their credit card balances, casino credit balances, loan statements, I had no idea. I mean, there must be like 60,000 in open credit lines to casinos here. Who knows what that pile is hiding? Open line of credit at Royal Red Casinos? Casinos? Are you serious? <sighs> she definitely has a problem and she needs help. I'm pretty amazed that she hid this from me. I feel kind of stupid for, for not knowing. I feel like the woman on these statements is a completely different person than, than who I'm in love with. Something's not adding up here. Something is definitely not adding up correctly. Whose report is this? Sarah's? Well, this can't be right. I've come up with some very odd things on Sarah's expense reports. Now, I'm not accusing her of anything, but I think I'm gonna have to go back and look up some old monthly reports. It's better to seek the truth than it is to place blame. I hope she's not stealing or anything. It's not like she's not getting paid enough. Okay, have a great weekend. Thanks for all your hard work today. You guys are awesome. Hi Randy, it's me Sarah. Hey, I'm not going to be able to meet up with you later. Um, it's just all the stuff that I have to do at work. You know, I really need to wrap it up before next week so it's not such a nightmare. Um, so, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay? Thanks. Bye. No, this is business related. Have a seat, please. You want these are? Um, they look like old expense reports. They are old expense reports. Your expense reports. Don't you drive a hybrid? Yes. And how do you explain $500 a month in work related gas expenses? And what about these $300 cash advances? Six of them in six weeks? Um, well, I can explain all of the ones that are on here. Um, remember when I had that client in the Keys and uh, I comped his gas when he was on the book signing tour and then you remember I had that night that I was in Tampa that I got stuck without my personal credit card. So I used it. That's enough. You're not fooling me. I'm beginning to think you're stealing from the company to hide something that we don't know about. No, I, I can assure you I'm, I'm okay. Um, I promise I will pay back every single one of these charges that is necessary, and I promise before I use the company credit card again, I'll get prior approval from you. So what is it? Are we not paying you enough? Is there something going on outside the office? Um, well, I just get, I just get so stressed at work, you know? I mean, it feels like all I do is work, 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 and my phone rings off the hook, and and if you go look at my desk, the papers are packed to the sky, and I'm just bombarded with emails every single day, and, um, um, I, uh, I think I might have a gambling problem. It seems like, um, like the only, <laughs> the only way that I can relieve any of this stress is to go play the slot machines. Slot machines? You're a gambler? Yeah. Well, I never would have guessed that. Pat, I think, um, I think I'm in real trouble. I don't feel like I have any control over anything, and I feel like my world is just um, falling down around me for the second time in my life, and, and I don't want to lose Randy, and I don't know who to talk to, and, and, um, 
I don't want to go sit in, in this group where I'm sitting beside these people with tattoos and piercings or old men with poker addictions. I have a service for you to call. It's called the FCCG, the Florida Council on Compulsive Gambling. They're here to help folks just like you. They offer a 24 hour, seven day a week helpline. As your boss and your friend, I'd like you to do this. Do, are they confidential? I mean, will anybody know? All correspondence is totally secret. Please don't tell any of the other employees about this. Of course not. Okay. I can't believe I'm about to make this call. Mm -hmm. But I do have a problem. And um, I don't want to live like this anymore and I know I need help. Three months ago, I was a completely different woman. I used to think that all my stress was work-related, but I've since come to realize that my gambling addiction was what was causing all the stress in my life. Now, once I admitted I had a problem, I felt like this huge weight had been lifted off my shoulders and I just had this huge sense of relief. And after Randy found out about the financial situation and the gambling addiction, you know, and I think the reason that he stayed around was because he saw my dedication to my recovery. And you know, he's actually helping me um, consolidate my bills with, a, with an accountant friend of his. Now, you know, I didn't expect him to stick around through any of this, much less help me with my recovery. You know, the debt hasn't really disappeared, but, um, but Randy and I have set up a payment plan for me and you know, I'm really enjoying watching those balances shrink <laughs> rather than grow. Slowly but surely. I also have Pat to thank because if he did not know me so well and call me out on my bluffs, I might not be here today. I wouldn't be here talking to you about my recovery. And I am very proud to say that I have not gambled in three months and I have never felt better and more free in my whole life. Call Florida's free 24-7 confidential multilingual problem gambling helpline at 1-888-ADMIT-IT. That's 1-888-236-4848.